In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the motion detection on this uh, Sansco CCTV system and also how to set the email alert so as it will send you an alert when something sets off uh, the alarm and the recording system. Uh, this is how it's set up after you've done the wizard from the box when you've got it all set up and running. Um, this is what you end up with on the screen. You will have probably connected it to the net service as well uh, at the same time. So I'm not going to go through all that with you. Otherwise, it'll take too long to explain it all on one video. Um, so to set up the motion detection, you right click the mouse and you come up with the main menu. If you click the main menu, you now come up with this little box. And to set the motion detection and the alarm, you click on the alarm box. I'm now going to go to motion detect, so I'll click on that and it gives me another screen with all these settings on here. Now I'm really only concerned mainly with the sensitivity and setting the region at the moment of where what sets the camera off. If you've got the, you can set it so that you can either have the something alert if you go if something moves in this top left hand corner you can set it so as that will set the camera off straight away or you can set the region that it's maybe only just covers the picture of the car uh, channel number that is the actual camera so in this case it's set for number one but you can actually set each one individually separately uh, so each one that would be number three so if I set that up all the settings I set would be for that particular camera so I'm just going to do it on camera number one just as an example the sensitivity is variable you can set that um, very very low so as if something like a cat walks by it won't set the camera off and you can set it very high that if something very small goes by it sets the camera recording and if you set it to allow you to tell you through the emails it will send you an alert that something has made the camera uh, switch on um, I've got it set to middle so if I click on that icon there this is where you can change the setting so if I change it to that that will be the lowest setting, but I have it on middle on this particular one. The other bit is the region that the uh, sensitivity covers. We need to make sure the enable is ticked, by the way, uh, so that the actual effects actually work with the camera. There goes another car just gone by, and there goes into record mode. Okay. The region, if you click on that, what you get is you get a full screen showing the picture from each individual camera in this case it's camera number one and these pink squares if I left click on that top one and hold the mouse the click the button down and move across I can scroll and I can clear all of those pink squares when the picture is clear like that with no pink squares that means there is no setting at all to, to switch the camera on if I just wanted the camera to come on if somebody actually walked right next to my car I would just hold it on there and I would scroll it across like that and the camera would only start recording if some movement was detected within that block of pink squares you can also take out individual squares by left clicking on each one so as if say you had it on a particular part and there was something blowing around in the wind you could actually unclick that part so as it doesn't actually then set the camera going okay I normally have this and um, more or less covers the whole of this except up here in this corner where it just touches the top of the of the opposite neighbor's fence and I don't really want to know what's going on over there they are aware that I've got cameras and they're, they're quite happy that it covers just a tiny bit because if they get burgled somebody goes over their fence they're quite happy for me to be able to tell them that you know we'll give them a picture of who it was but this is the region anything movement any movement coming within that pink area will set the camera recording so that's quite straightforward and um, very very briefly you can set the time that the camera runs for and um, what it normally does you can set it to pre-record three or four seconds before the it will it will memorize the, the recording from three or four seconds before the movement was detected and you can set it to record afterwards for however long you want I've got it set for 20 seconds and um, you can actually set an alarm alert for the actual box um, where the cameras are connected to if you click buzzer what happens you get an audible alert when something detects movement so if a car goes by now there will be a buzzer happens as well 
Okay, so that's quite straightforward. I'm just going to untick that. Um, when we set up the email, we will need to tick that send email in a moment and we can again set that for each individual camera. So you can have an email set in for camera one, but not for say number three or four. Um, you can have it for number three. Okay, if I just switch that, I should have left the buzzer on there, you would have seen it. Um, so but at the moment I'm going to leave that blank. So that is all set up for motion detection. Now when you set it up, I'm just going to get rid of all this off the screen. When you set it up for emails, you're going to need your um, server settings, which you need to go to your email um, account, find out what your server settings are, and they'll need to be input into here. So I'm going to right click on the screen again, and I'm going to go to main menu, and I'm going to go to system, and I'm going to go to net service. Okay, now these are pretty much standard down here. I did actually have to put that one in there, which was xmsecu.com and then 15,000 because that wasn't in there that is a default setting and um, but some actually apparently have that on that my particular one didn't what you will need to put in are your email details so you'll come to the email section and you'll click on the little icon at the end which allows you to edit the details again you're going to need to click the enable button these are your server settings. So this is what I got from my website because I'm on AOL. I needed the smtp.aol.com. The port needs to be set at 465. That's where the SSL needs to be set. That is defaulted at 25, but that wouldn't work. Okay, and I'll explain why in a minute. This is the username of your email account and your password. Obviously, it's blanked out for obvious reasons. This is the sender email address. So in my case, my camera is at home, so it's being sent from my own email address to my own email. So as if I was away on holiday, it would send me an email while I'm away on holiday. If this was used at work or something, um, that could be your email address at work and this could be your personal email address at home. So as if the alert goes off, if the alarm goes off, it will send you an email address to your actual home address. OK. That is your alarm message. I've just typed in their alarm message so as the email tells you that one of the cameras has gone off. If all these are correct, you do a test by pressing mail testing. It tells you that everything is set up correctly. If I hadn't have clicked that, say I put in some information wrong here, I would do that mail testing and it would tell me they're unable to connect to the server or the wrong username or password is set. So if I click that again, set mail testing, there we go, that's all working OK. So I'm going to get rid of all this off the screen and I'm going to go back now to my original alarm setting, motion detect, and I would now tick the send email. So as if there was detection, motion detection within that camera number one, I would immediately get an email sent to me to tell me that I've, the camera has gone off. If I wanted that to happen on, say, camera number three as well, again, I would tick the email box. I will just say here, um, it's probably mainly going to be used that if you've got it set within an office somewhere where there's not going to be any any movement unless somebody gets in and unauthorized. Um, if this, if I've got it set up on here for my for my camera here, every time a car goes by, I'm going to get an email. But in an office or something similar, um, you're only going to get movement and an alert if movement is happening where it shouldn't be. If it's in an office, you can also set the time that the camera um, is, is alerted to. So it's all in the schedules. Um, that is something else. It's a, a separate thing, that. But I'm just setting it up for home use here. So hopefully that's uh, giving you a little bit of an insight as to how to set it all up. Um, any questions, please, please put them in the in the message below and I'll see if I can help out from there. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back with another one soon just to show you how to set it up um, to have continuous recording and maybe to set it up so that you can look at the cameras, maybe from an iPad or from your phone, um, again, when you're away on holiday. So uh, I'll be back with another one shortly. Thank you then. Bye for now.